Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on... Almost ready to get underway. And towing the slab in this one, number one. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, something he had been dreaming about for a long time. His last time out, he got his first big league win. I'm sure he's got that ball secure somewhere that he can enjoy it in the offseason and the years to come. But today, it's time to get back to work, see if he can get number two. At the play, number nine. There's the strike. Here's a one-two. Good job to fight that one off. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Hit in the air, right field. Number 12, under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Giants go down quietly. Time for the White Sox to go to work. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Comiskey Park. And today on the hill, number 14. Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tough. Now this down the right field line. Fair ball should be extra bases. Round second, digging for third. And he's got a leadoff triple. Nice line drive to pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Stepping in, number 12. And a base hit knocks in a run. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And yeah, the batter now, Shoeless Joe Jackson. Next pitch has popped up. Doyle hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. Batting four. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. Well, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup. I think as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of this season, they could be playing October baseball. And now here is Buck Weaver into center field. That'll fall for a hit. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Digging in, Felch. Ripped on a line to center. Makes a nice running catch. Runner tags for home. In there safely. And they take a two-run lead. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball, just couldn't get it to drop in. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout, and hit the reset button. Runner on the goal. On a line, base hit. Weaver around second, headed for third. He's in there, and they're up by three. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now, number 20. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. 
Bounced out to short. Throws to first. Play made. That ends the inning. Three runs for them here, and they move ahead. We go on to inning number two. It's the White Sox three, and the Giants nothing. Welcome back. Now it's J.D. Davis. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Filch pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. The pitch. And a count one and two. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Wind in the pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. Swing and a pop up. Weaver on the move. Two down. And digging in for San Francisco, Blake Sable. In there. And so now one and two. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. And that one is lifted in the air. Felch settles underneath it. And that is the third out of the inning. Giants down in order. They trail it here. Welcome back to Comiskey Park. We head to the bottom of the second. And now it's going to be number 15. That one the other way. Puts it away for the out. Job Jenkins steps to the plate for the White Sox. The wind of the pitch. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Now it's the second baseman, Eddie Collins. He tripled and scored his first time. And the right-hander deals on the ground. And that chance handled. Tosses to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the shallow right field. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. Nothing but curveball so far in the at-bat. Kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if he'll keep coming with it or if they'll try to speed you up. The one-two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off-speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Another one-two. Battling here as he fouls it away. One, two now. On the ground to first. Chase takes it himself. It. And that is that. So a man left for the White Sox, but they lead it three. And welcome back. On to the third inning. And digging in for San Francisco, Hal Chase. Swang and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. The Tyro Estrada to the plate. Tyro. The one two. Fights it off. He'll see another. Runner at first with no outs here. That one lifted to left. Jackson settles under it. Hauls it in for the out. Batting. 
batting nine, the center fielder. Number eight, getting ready to hit. Trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Chase over at first with one away. Got it by him for the K. Man, it's almost unfair that he can just pull that knuckleball out of his pocket and throw it up there in addition to his other pitches. It's un first offering. Runner goes. That one out to right. And that's a fair ball. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you not too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now it's going to be number nine. Yeah, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry. Ah, that out. ends the inning, so we take a break. Two left on. We move on to the bottom of it. Back here in Comiskey Park, Leading here's the left the fielder, Shoeless Joe no Jackson. Shoeless Joe. The wide, the kick, and the one two. And that this one almost got him. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Leadoff man retired here in the third. The third and up next for Chicago, off. Buck Weaver. Buck. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. On the ground right side. He steps on the He's bag out. and two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. No, he didn't recognize change up earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. The 1-1. One, one. Slow roller up the middle. The throw to first, that's the third out. Nothing doing for the White Sox, but they lead it three. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Now at the plate, Larry Doyle. To the right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he the got into an advantage count. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. One and two here. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Struck him out looking. Well, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. Doyle stands at first with one out. Balls, two strikes the count. Throw! Save! Well, almost a strike him out, throw him out play right there, but 3 2 is a great count to run on. There's a good chance the hitter puts the ball in play, so it can turn into a big play offensively as well. Blake Sable, the next giant to hit. He's 0 for 1. The 1 2. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Tracks it down for the out. And that's the third out. One left for San Francisco. Still down 3 0. Welcome back. And here's the first baseman, number seven. And the 3 1. Short hop liner handled it short. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Now bad. And now next to hit for the Sox, number 20. He's 0 for 1. Here's a 1 to 1. 
And a weak ground ball to the left side. And foul ball. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Righty to the plate. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Oh. Fires over to first. Already two gone here in the home floor. And here's the catcher, number 15. Swing and he breaks his back. Estrada tosses to first. That ends the frame. Welcome back to Comiskey Park. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now here is Hal Chase. This one in the air right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now bad. So digging in, Tyro Estrada. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. <laughs> well, obviously the knuckleball, it's not no, a pitch bad, designed bad. to blow Number by hitters, eight. but you'll see this every once in a while. You give up on that pitch at the plate, and then the last moment it darts back into the strike zone, and you're just not ready to get a swing off in time. Looks like it's 100 miles per hour, and I tell you what, I know from personal experience it's not a good feeling. and misses it's a strikeout Giants are down one two three they trail in this one three nothing ready to go for the last half of the inning so now it's the White Sox DH Joe Jenkins the pitch out to short Sneaks through, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Back to the top of the lineup. So up next for Chicago, Eddie Collins. Checks over to first, back safely. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Base knock center field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. A couple of singles back to back. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. And here is number 12. And strike two. You know, these White Sox, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've seen how many line drive base hits they've been able to produce in this one. Six to be exact, and they've all been pretty loud. First and second here, no outs. And a swing and a miss. And one away. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Runners at first and second with one gone. in the air of the infield and the infield fly is called now about it third base Buck Weaver so first and second with two outs here's the cleanup hitter for the Sox Buck Weaver singled and scored back in the first he's one for two the one two stays alive
Here comes a pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a nod. Jenkins headed for the plate. He scores, and they lead by four. Well done. Drives in the run. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make it. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Alex Cobb. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Next to hit, Felch. Going to count one and two. Collins at third. Weaver on at first with two down. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the Giants' leadoff hitter, George Burns. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Runner on the goal. Fouls one off. Two and two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. He makes the grab, and there's one down. Larry Doyle now at the plate. One for two. Larry Doyle. Swing and a pop up. Collins has this one sized up. Pulls it down and there's two gone. Man, he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. Man at first. And now J.D. Davis. Strike two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for six. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. White Sox four, and the Giants nothing. And welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, number 60. And he deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. The why to kick the pitch. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. He kind of muscled that one out there, didn't get the barrel with it, but the important part was that he found a way to stay through the baseball and just drop it into center field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. One down. Number 15 steps to the plate for the White Sox. In the dirt. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that'll do it. The White Sox leave one, but they're in front for nothing. Back here at Comiskey Park, all set for the start of the inning. And now it's the Giants' DH, Lamont Wade Jr. So now one and two. All these Giants just like... discipline at the plate in this ball game chasing pitches has been a big part of the story we've seen it quite a bit today it's been tough for him to make contact at times and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group left hand hitter waits gets under and pops it up and puts the squeeze on that and there's one away and on the mound you know 
confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Now the White Sox manager is out of the dugout and will make a move to the pen. Number one is done, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Tom McGuire into the game. He's into the game with the bases empty. Number 18. Swing and a miss. One and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now Two outs, base is empty. And up next for San Francisco, Hal Chase. The 1 1 is fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that is that. Giants go down quietly. They're down 4 0. Back here at the ballpark, set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the second baseman, Eddie Collins. Come back to the mound. One up, one down. Now back up. Number 12. And up next for Chicago, number 12. Outfield playing pretty shallow. And a 1-1. One -one. Base hit, center field. So a man aboard now with one away. Shoeless Joe Jackson digs in now. Chopper right side. Chase. Toss to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Eighth inning coming up. White Sox four, and the Giants nothing. Welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. And digging in for San Francisco, Tyro Estrada. On the ground right side. In plenty of time to first. And Estrada is out. Now bad. Number, Number eight, eight will hit next. Next one is off the plate. And that's ball two. Lifted in the air right center field. Makes the grab on the run. Two away. Back to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup. George Burns, the next to hit. Going to count one and two. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Jackson puts the squeeze on that one. And Welcome back to... Comiskey Park. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Buck Weaver. Swings and misses. One ball, two strikes. And the count, one and two. The pitch. In the dirt. Over to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. And next to him for the Sox, Felch. Kicks and deals. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. New arm for the Giants, Johnny Brebbia. This is his third time out this year. Number seven now at the plate. And that one ripped to left. 
Fair ball. Filch. Round second on his way to third. In to score from first. It's 5-0. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Swings and misses, struck him out. You know, Boog, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Out to short, Estrada. Whips it to first. They limit the damage here. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Through eight full, it's the White Sox five and the Giants nothing. A new pitcher in the game, number 54. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Now the number two hitter, number nine. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Nice grab on the run. One away. Larry Doyle, the next giant to hit. 1-1 one, one now. Just oh, missed. And he hits a ground ball right side. Sends it to first. And the Giants down to their final out. Hey, man, four pitches, down, down, two outs. Down. That is an excellent pace. Easy. So they're down to their final out. And now, J.D. Day Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. And that should be extra bases. And into second easily with a two-out double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. And he's got it. Ball game. And the White Sox use three pitchers to combine for the shutout. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by these guys to get it done for the hometown fans. 5 nothing the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.